Hello everyone, welcome back and today we are looking at question 104 which is maximum depth of a binary tree. So we are given the root of a binary tree and want to return the maximum depth of that tree. Now they are saying that the maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node. So let's look at example one. We see we have this binary tree and the root is three. And now we see that the longest path from the root to a leaf node is from three to seven or from three to 15. This path has three nodes and this path has also three nodes. So we know that the maximum depth of this tree is three and we see that the output is three. Okay, now how can we do this? Let's go to the blackboard and explain how can we tackle this. Okay, here we are in the blackboard. And since we have a tree, right, we will be using recursion. Recursion is one of the best ways to tackle tree problems. But before we go into the recursion itself, let me give you an analogy that will make things much easier. Let's imagine we are in a cinema room and this cinema room has four rows of seats. Here is the first row, second row, third row and fourth row. And of course we have a screen that is, you know, showing a movie. So we have a screen. Now, let's imagine that you were the person watching this video, you are sitting right here. And now you want to know which row you're sitting in. Are we sitting in the fifth row, sixth row? We, we don't know, we want to know. Okay, so how can we do this? Well, we can ask the person in front of us, hey, which row you're sitting in? And that person will say, I don't know. Let me ask the person in front of me, right? And this person ask, okay? And now the next person say, I also don't know which row I'm in, so let me ask the person in front of me. So this person asks, and finally we reach this person who's saying, hey, the screen is in front of me, so I must be in the first row. So I am in the first row. So this person says, hey, I am in the first row. Now, this person is saying, if you are in the first row, then I must be in the second row since I am one row higher than you. So this person is saying I am in the second row, right? Now this person is saying if you are in the second row, then I must be in the third row. And now you the person who's watching this video, you'll be saying, okay, if this person is in the third row, then I am in the fourth row since I am one row higher than this person. Now, it's important to note that we kept asking the person in front of us until we reached a certain point. And that point was, hey, we see the screen in front of us, right? At this point, we stopped and we knew we are in the first row. So in this case, in this cinema room setting, we know that this is the base case when we can see the screen. Now, we will do something similar to this, but with trees. Okay, so let's go and have a look on that. Here we have this binary tree, the same one as the example that we just saw in lead code. Now, before we go, before we dive into this tree, I want to ask you a question, okay? Since we're using recursion, we need the base case. In the case of a cinema room, we know that the base case was when we will see the screen, right? Okay, but what is the base case in, uh, you know, in this binary tree? Let me ask you this. If we have an empty tree, right? and tree that has nothing, absolutely nothing, it's an empty tree. What is the depth of an empty tree? Well, we know that the depth of an empty tree is always zero. So this must be the base case. We can say, okay, we will keep going until we see a node that is null, and at that point, the depth is zero. So, so this will be the base case of our recursion. Okay, now, what if I tell you, if we have a leaf node, now what is a leaf node? A leaf node, it's a node that has no children. Something like this nine and 15 and the seven. As you can see, the children of these nodes are null, which means they have no children. Imagine if we have a leaf node. What is the depth of this leaf node? Same idea as here. We go ask the person in front of us. This node will ask its children, but this node has no children. It has nothing, it has null, right? So now, we have a left subtree and a right subtree. Remember, in recursion, we make sub problems. We have this big tree. I know it, it's consisting of only one node, but the concept is the same. We have this tree 
and we want to dive into its left children and right children. We are diving into its left subtree and right subtree. But we notice that the left subtree is an empty tree, and we said that the depth of an empty tree is zero. And we have this right subtree, which is also empty, and we said that the depth of an empty tree is also zero. Now, this node sees that both of its children are at depth zero. So this node is saying, hey, if my children are on depth zero, I must be in depth one. Okay, so a leaf node has a depth one. Now let's go to this tree and see what, how can we tackle this? Well, of course, we will start at the root of the tree. What is the depth of this tree from this root? Well, we don't know. We need to ask our children. This tree will ask the 9 and the 20. This tree will ask the left subtree and it will ask the right subtree, right? We are making sub problems. Let's dive into the left subtree. We see that we have a leaf node and we said that the depth of a leaf node is 1. Okay, good. Now let's go to the right subtree. We see that we have 20, 15, 7. Okay, but when we go to this 20, this 20 is the root of this smaller subtree consisting of only 20, 15, and 7. So we can make another subtree right here where 20 is the root of this smaller subtree, right? So we go to this 20, hey 20, what is the depth of, you know, which depth are you on? And this 20 say, I don't know, let me ask my children. So this 20 ask the 15, this 20 ask the 7. Now this 15 is a leaf node, so we know that the depth is 1. This 7 is a leaf node, we know that the depth is 1. This 20 is saying, if both of my children are on depth 1, then I am one level higher than them, so I must be in level 1 plus 1, which is 2. And now this 3 is saying, hey, one of my children is in depth 1 but my other child is on depth two. So on which depth am I? Since the question is asking for the maximum depth, we need to take the maximum between the height of the left subtree and the height of the right subtree. Then of course we add one, since we will always be one level higher than our child, okay? We know that the left is one, the height of the left subtree is 1, the height of the this big green um, right subtree is 2, the maximum is 2, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So this node is on depth 3. And again, the highest depth of this tree is 3. Here is depth, right? Here is the second one, and here is the third one. Now let's go to the code. So we said we need to take care of the base case. So we set the base case once we see a null node, right? And of course we are starting at the root. So we will say, hey, if the root of the tree is null, then we will return zero. Why? Because we said that the depth of an empty tree is zero. So we return zero. And this is the base case of our recursion, okay? Now we said we need to calculate the depth of the left subtree and the depth of the right subtree. But of course we have trees, so we have subtrees inside of subtrees, etc. So we will be using recursion. So we can say that we will store the height of the left subtree in this variable, and we will say, okay, what is the height of the left subtree? We can keep calling this max depth method recursively until we hit uh, the leaf node. Since its children is null, we will be hitting this base case, and we will be returning zeros um, for the you know, null node because we don't have any children for the leaf node and we can come back to the root and we can tell the root, hey, the depth of this left tree is the following. Okay, so we can say the int left equals max depth, which is the name of our method. And we can give, we can go to the root and we want to know the depth of the left subtree. So we can say, hey, root dot left. We will be calling this again, this method recursively until we hit the base case. And we will do the same thing for the right subtree. So int right equals max depth of foot dot right. At this point, we know the depth of the left subtree and the depth of the right subtree. 
and of course we know that this tree is one level above them and we said we want the maximum depth so we want to know what is the maximum between the left and the right and add one to that to know the depth of this tree so we want to return the maximum math.max between the left and the right and of course we said we need to add one because we are always one level higher than our children and that should be it let's run the code and let's submit as you can see faster than 100 percent so let's look at the time and space complexity starting with the time complexity we saw that we went through all the nodes of the tree assuming that our tree has n nodes the time complexity would be big o of n now the space complexity would be the height of the tree in the worst case our tree will have n nodes like this we will have the root and we will keep getting you know let's say right child all the way so we will have n of those and the height would be in the worst case big o of n now if the tree is balanced right if the tree is a balanced tree for instance like this the space complexity would be big o of log n thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video best of luck to you and i will see you in the next one